if you have a high efficiency system, one that modulates like, uh, I don't know, one of these things is like 300 steps of modulation or something, something that just maxes out technology at our current state. And you have a duct system attached to that modern, wonderful system. Your duct system does not modulate saving a zone style system. It'll modulate some way, but a standard duct system does not modulate. So if you have a high efficiency system, which will modulate both air, so a non-Bosch, both air and uh, compressor capacity, how does that duct system work if it is not zoned with that system? So uh, that's like, that's a funny thing because that was actually a topic that we had um, at the symposium with Steve Rogers and Jenry Garcia and that about like what happens. But if you think about like airflow takes the path of least resistance and as you, um, as you lower the airflow, you're lowering all the static pressure. So you're lowering the resistance in all of the ducts. So you do have the potential in, you know, making really the airflow at really longer runs to, to suddenly like maybe you're not delivering quite as much. Um, but I think a lot of that also comes into play with balancing. Like you really got to balance, you know, um, balancing is huge on that. But one, one, one of the biggest uh, factors with that that we were talking about is um, now when you're sizing like boots and registers, we talk about throw and spread, like how mm -hmm. far the air is traveling into a room. Well, that's based off of our design airflow. So if your design airflow to a room is 100 CFM, um, you'll have a certain amount of throw. But the throw and spread drops drastically as the airflow ramps down. So that's like the tr the question of the day is like, you know, um, what do you do? How, how can you overcome that? You know what I mean? Because now now all of a sudden your, your register with great throw doesn't have that anymore. So you're not mixing quite as much. So you would say that in this case, it's not necessarily the volume of air in the periphery of the system. It's more like stratification of air would be the issue because the throat, you know, you have an air, let's say cold yeah. air from air conditioning just settling on the floor and then running along the floor instead. I didn't even think about that part, but yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm.